Hello, look what I receive. You see it? The box is humongous, humongous, and heavy. But not only the box, the camera is humongous and heavy too. What a beast. I went in vacation with this and now I have this. Okay. For it's very, it's sorry. I'm in vacation, I have not a nice light and I see that behind it, it become to to be very bright, then I'm uh, underexposed, I suppose. Okay, my first impression. It's a A9, but full frame. He has all the functionality of a A9. The build construction is amazing. The lens I never had. I had plenty of lens, same quality, but not better quality. You know that I like cameras and I always do play with all the nicest camera. Quality, uh, looks, feeling, it's the same than my Nikon D850. Wait also. Uh, but it's mirrorless, it's better. That's why I sold finally my D850. And I didn't regret it. For the moment, the comparison I can do is with my Sony A3, I love. I love, but they are no com no competition between these two cameras because oh, Sony for me is smaller as a menu. Sony has to go at school to do it properly. This one is a lot, a lot more convivial, di direct. You can change everything. I will not detail everything, but because you can read the spec and uh, watch other video. What I want only to tell you is I never, never had better pictures with this camera. I can say the 850, I can say the Sony A7 III. Of course, the Canon mirrorless, the last one, has amazing picture. Then, picture quality is the same today. They are all press impressive. This one, the difference is the convenience is a A7. It's so easy to use. Direct. You want to do the, you want to change plus and you turn here. You want to change the ISO, same thing. White balance, same thing. You see right away because it's a mirrorless in your uh, eye. Uh, Okay, LVF, you see, uh, the LVF is this or is this? Okay, uh, I don't know. But you see what you get, you to, what you will get then, if you see it's too dark, it's too light, talk, talk, and that's it, it's fixed. Uh, the 24-105, it's very, is a very convenient lens. For the Sony, 
this lens cost thirteen hundred dollars. This one comes with the camera. I bought it in France, three thousand euro. Then uh, it's it makes the price, the body price cheaper than the A7 III from Sony. And I said, okay, I don't buy the lens. This lens I wanted because it's so convenient. 24 I love, 105 I love. Uh, on my uh, A7 III I have the famous Tamron, but it's 28. And uh, at the other end, it's 75. This one is 105. Advantage for the Tamron is it's a 2.8. This one is a F4. But on a full frame, uh, you have, of course, more light. You know that. And then for me, it's not a big issue to have F4 instead of F2.8. If I want the same bokeh, I can do even better with this one because I can take the picture at 105. So the one I can go only, only at 75 and I have more bokeh on this one. 105 with f4 then 75 f2.8 okay but what i know also is i will keep both because on this one i will have only one lens because they are so expensive i will not buy i'm not ready to buy like a lens uh, or uh, very expensive uh, Lens. I didn't do either for the Sony, I didn't buy a G Master lens uh, with the price of the G Master lens, this one 2.8. You can have all this, then I think, okay, I'm not a professional, I'm an enthusiast photographer, I like photography, but I'm not completely crazy. I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I know. For the Sony, I will keep large aperture, fast lens, 28, 35, the Tamron, I just spoke it, the 85, 1.8, all these lens, and on this one, only this one. I have to take my two cameras like this i have a backup not the same brand not the same lens but i have a backup a backup too if i want this lens or the other one on this one it costs me the double then i have two camera brand with me when i want to do very nice picture thank you for watching See you soon. Bye-bye.